Let's say you get rejected by the Class D airport. You are flying towards a Class D airport. You call them and they tell you to remain clear of Class Delta airspace. You are like, what? Can they do that? Of course, if this was the Class Bravo airspace and you're looking for like flight following through the Bravo, yeah, you know, in the back of your mind, you might be thinking, yeah, let's call them. Maybe we won't get it, whatever. But this is class Delta airspace telling you to stay away, right? This is, you know, embarrassing. This is like getting turned down by a sure thing. So hello everyone and welcome back to another scenario training with J1 Aviation. Today we're talking about getting turned down by a class D tower. So what do you do when a class D tower tells you to remain clear of their airspace? Well, in short, do anything you want. Just don't go in their airspace. Now, the reason they are telling you this to remain clear is probably because they are busy, right? Probably you can hear on the radio, the tower is busy. There are several aircraft maybe in front of you. There are several in the pattern, is nonstop chatter on the radio, and maybe the controller is by himself, right? So if you want to, or you need to land at this airport, you can just fly around, kill some time. You could do some 360s outside of the class D boundary. Or, hey, you can take some time, you know, practice slow flight. It's a good time to practice slow flight. Maybe you could do turns around a point, S turns, whatever makes you happy. And while you're killing time, you know, definitely monitor the radio. So as the frequency starts to open up, become less busy, maybe aircraft are landing, they're making a full stop, maybe departures are exiting the area, you know, in this case, feel free to call again. Now, potentially, a tip here, you might not need to do much of anything in some cases. So the recommendation is to make your initial call to the Class D tower about 10 miles out. So if you call them 10 out and they tell you to remain clear, you could just slow down a little bit, make some shallow S turns, and slowly keep proceeding to the airport. And you know, this type of flight in a small general aviation aircraft could take, you know, a couple minutes to actually start getting close to the class D boundary. And then, you know, maybe after a few minutes, you call them again, you luck out, and then they're ready to accept you. So there you go, a couple ideas of what to do if you get rejected by a class D airport probably don't happen very often but it does happen so thanks everyone for watching today we'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying j1 aviation